Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, if Fortnite keeps crashing because of an easy anti-cheat error, don't worry because we've got a quick and easy guide solutions to get you back in the game. Let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to fully close the Fortnite and the Epic Games Launcher. Now from here you need to check the task manager by pressing the control plus shift plus escape to make sure that there are no leftover. So in my case, I'm going to be showing you my control, uh, my, my task manager. All right. So if you can go to the Fortnite or EAC processes running, you need to basically end the uh, program. All right. And then after that, I want you to open your Epic Games Launcher again. I want you to go to the game that you wanted, go to the library, right click on it, and click the verify. That's one way. You should be able to see a three dots icon on the game that you wanted. Try to click the verify and that should be able to fix that simple issue. Click the easy anti-cheat folder. There should be a file or an application that says easy anti-cheat underscore setup. It is an executable file. I want you to right click on it and there should be a, an option that says repair as service. What will happen is this will fix any missing or corrupted easy anti-cheat files. All right. So that's one of the easiest way. After doing that, you need to restart your PC and click the run as administrator. Okay. And then another option that you can do is now while at it, I want you to right click again on it. And there should be an option that says properties and then go to the compatibility section and then you need to click the run compatibility troubleshooter all right because as you may notice if this program isn't working correctly on the version of windows try running the compatibility troubleshooter to see if that works now i want you to pay attention because you need to click this section right here that says run this program in compatibility mode for all these windows you have windows 8 until 10 or 11 and, and then you have the ability to run this as administrator you want to make sure to check that option or check that option and click the apply and okay another option that you can do is go to the services on your windows right and as you may notice you have the services here i want you to look for the epic games or epic online services you need to do the same thing that we have done earlier. Right click on it, go to the properties, and you want to make sure on the startup, you click the automatic delayed startup or automatic. All right. And then click the service starts, click the apply, and click on OK by updating your Windows and drivers. Now, if you are using NVIDIA, you might want to go to the NVIDIA G experience. And if you are using AMD, you might want to go to the AMD Adrenaline. Make sure both your graphics drivers are fully updated because outdated system files or gpu drivers can conflict with eac and cause the integrity violation error and that's also similar to the uh, windows you might want to go to the systems or settings and then there should be an option that says update and security and click the windows update similar to the gpu drivers make sure your windows updates are fully up to date all right of course, you can also try uninstalling and reinstalling the easy anti-cheat itself by going to the official website. And there's also an option here, as you may notice, that if you have any concerns about EAC, you can read through the support articles covering the most question and answers, all right? And of course, you might get some answers and troubleshooting steps from here. You can also join the official Fortnite Discord server to seek help from active gamers in the community. They are usually very accommodating and often share useful tips if they've run into the same problem. You can also reach out to Epic Games for support, for troubleshooting guide. You can also reach out to Epic Games support for a troubleshooting guide and help. They'll be more than glad to assist you with any of your concerns. All right? And that's it for today's video. After these steps, Fortnite should run without the easy anti-cheat crash.
If this video helped you, do not forget to drop a like, subscribe for more quick fixes, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.